Hi guys, today's video is quite a short one, so I have just left it in real time. Um, I wanted just to show you a short, simple autumn awesome design you could do with literally just a few gel polishes. This could also be done over acrylic um, for your nude base. So I'm going to be using a dark green and an orange and a nude um, while applying this one. I did actually think it was a little too pink, but the end result actually works quite well. So I end up putting two coats of this one on because it is quite sheer. Um, I do use a spider gel at the end, but you could just paint really thin lines. So this is... I want to say this is Hunter Green and this is one of the newer ones that I got from Nail and Beauty Excellence. Um, now I have a sun, a sun, sun lamp and I found that that one struggles to cure that particular brand's darker colours unless they're very thin. So that's an extremely thin coat of green so that ends up getting two coats. Now this orange is called Squash. Um, that only has one coat because as you saw it's very very thick. Um, and that one is from... Wow, complete brain for that. One second. One second. I had it right in my head and then you know when it just bloody well goes. It is, I knew it had looks. It's brush on looks. And they're one of the ones I got in the two pound sale. So I've done two coats of the ones that needed it, one of the one that didn't. And I am just matte top coating these. You do not have to. Um, but my personal preference when doing any nail art is to either matte top coat and then give it a wipe because some of them don't have an inhibition layer and some of them do. And, not and, or, you can normal top coat if you don't own a matte top coat. And then lightly buff it. Just so you've got a, a matte looking surface, there's no shiny bits. And then give it a brush off and do it that way. So that is cured. And I just have the same colours on my palette. I have the orange, the green, and then just some black. Um, your brain's mm. foggy this morning. I have some black gel paint. You can get away with using black gel polish. I used black gel polish for many, many years until I got a monthly surprise me box from CJP and there was a black gel paint in it and I'd never bothered investing because I just figured the gel polish was fine, why waste my money? But it actually did make a huge difference. So I have a thicker brush here and I'm literally just painting on like oval shapes and splodges where I want my leaves to be. You could do more orange, you could do more green, you can put them anywhere on the nail. It does not have to be where I put them. And then I just tidy up my lines a bit with a fine liner. You can do it all with a fine liner, that is also an option. I just chose to splodge it and then neaten it up a bit. And I did decide at one point my leaves were a little too skinny and small, so I did go over them and make them bigger. So I cured them so they don't go anywhere. And then I'm splodging a few green bits on there too. I do think these ones are put in rather awkward places. But hey ho, they turned out okay. 
Now I do put a bit of gold foil on there just for a bit of sparkle later on. But if you do not have foil, you have the option of glitter. Dabbing a bit of gold polish on a sponge and tapping that in. Or if you have foil foils, you know, like on a roll, you can cut a tiny square, scrunch it up, and then that gives it like, you know, like lines all over it. And then use a bit of foil gel and tap that into it so that will leave behind just tiny little crinkly bits. It won't give you like a full transfer sheet like it normally would. It's quite a good way to use foils actually. It gives you a really nice effect. I've gone off camera a little there, haven't I? I had a noisy house yesterday. Chip was being whiny, so I chose to film and then just voice over this morning. As you can see, it doesn't take long. Yes, I am pausing the filming while it's curing, but I've not sped a single thing up. And the, the video is 12 minutes long, so it really is a nice, quick and simple design. So they're cured and I am just using my gel pen to go around the outline. And then with next to no product on the brush, I am just striping down the middle and then dragging little bits out. Just to give that leaf shape. I am hoping you can actually see that or I may need to zoom it in a bit. And just keep going. I could have really sped this bit up a bit. This bit's a little boring. So to get the thinner lines, you want to just be using the very tip of your brush and a light pressure. So the more pressure you put on with your brush, the thicker your line will be. And if you just use the tiny tippy of your brush with the lightest pressure, almost like when you're lifting the brush off and it's just that tiny little tail end, that will give you the thinner lines. I'm not doing that around the outside of the leaves. And as you can see, those lines are thicker because I'm using more of the tip of the brush. I'm saving the tiny lines for the inside. So that little bit on my palette is a tiny blob of base gel. And then I dabbed some little gold flakies in it. A nice effect might be those Aurora flakies you see sometimes as well, or like a few chameleon ones. I have quite a few different ones, I don't know why, but every time I order off Sheen or Timu, there's always at least one chrome or at least one different coloured flaky that goes in there. So I have a nice little box full. So I have a spider gel, which I make a balls in mess with. This is a Bon Pretty one, which I have probably owned for about six years. And is still pretty much full because that stuff lasts forever. Because, I mean, look at that, you use... The tiniest amount I'm using what is on top of the wrapper it doesn't exactly go anywhere very quickly so that is cured and here you have the option to shiny top coat everything if you prefer a shiny or matte top coat like I am and then cure and that is you all done that is all done I did see a similar set and to a different shaped leaves I've gone for the basic leaf shape and here is what we look like on so I personally prefer the matte top coat and it um photographs better 
But there you go, a nice simple Artemy nail art. You could use any colours and then you just have leaves or autumn patternings on just two of the fingers and it gives you a nice quick autumn look. That one's coming off. I've literally just put them on with blue tack so you can see what they look like on. Um, these are the square tips from my recent haul video as well. The sizes are a little off with these ones. Um, they don't curve to the nail as much as the almonds that I've been using for quite a while. Still absolutely loving them and they're a nice length. These personally are a little long for me, but that's because I'm, you know, a short nail girly. But thank you guys for watching. Um, have a go. It doesn't even need to be leaves. It could be anything. It could be an egg on. Um, and any colour combinations. So thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you haven't already. And please subscribe if you aren't a subscriber. I do try to put out regular videos. Some are uh, just watching me work things with me ranting on in the background and some are tutorials. And check out my other videos. I have some really, really nice winter ones from last year. And I will see you all soon. Bye, guys.